exercises. In fact, are completely impossible. 12x squared minus 12, 22x minus 14. 12x squared minus 22x minus 144. I wonder if that's a misprint, but I don't know. It has to be, because these two are not the same. That's probably something else. We'll see. Factor 24x squared minus 98x plus 65. Oh, this is 14, that's 144. Maybe that's right. 48x squared minus 216x plus 243. 63x squared plus 147x plus 343. 2x squared minus 36x plus 160. x squared minus 12x minus 108 x squared minus 18x plus 243, x to the 8 minus 32x to the 4 plus 256. Okay. Uh, we have some time left. 12. This 2 and 3 goes in here. 2 goes in here. 2 is a great common factor. 3, not 3. Just 2 is a great common factor. So when you factor out 2, you're left with 6x squared minus 11x minus 7. Factor this, product, 6 times negative 7, negative 42, sum negative 11. Large number negative, small number positive for the product to be negative. Run through all the divisors and immediately you get 3 minus 14, negative 11. So 3 and negative 14 are the magic numbers that let me split up the uh, negative 11. 3 minus 14 is negative 11. From the first two, factor out the 3x. From the last two, factor out the negative 7, because you want a positive 2 here. So 2x plus 1, 2x plus 1, you're left with 3x minus 7 times 2. Don't forget that 2. 